I'm a feature presenter here at METC 2015. I just finished doing a session on mobile photography for the classroom, uh, giving teachers some ideas on um, how to take better photos and documenting what they do in the classroom and really tell a powerful story that goes beyond just the numbers that we know in education. There's an emotion that is inherent in a photo, in a video, that really moves people. And so if you want to be a change agent within education, you need to take the next step. And the nice thing is that with the mobile devices we have now, we have powerful cameras, we have powerful microphones. So just make sure you document what you do with your students so you can tell a story that really uh, convinces people, you know, uh, decision makers and stakeholders that what's happening in your classroom is valuable and it's worth investing in. Uh, I just attended a class uh, using uh, mobile devices to take pictures in the classroom okay. with Luis Perez. I thought it was just going to be about photography, but it was so much more than that. Um, he did teach us about photography in the classroom in ways for that students can use it, but he is also legally blind, and so um, uh, it also spoke to me about kids with disabilities and that we are all capable. I plan to um, open up the cameras for the kids on our iPads. Um, they re hadn't had access to it before because I wasn't sure what we could do with it, but they can do so much more than we give them credit for. I'm looking forward to downloading some new apps and just playing with pictures and then being able to share that with my students so that, again, the, the concept of creating something that they're really proud of, and everybody loves taking a selfie, so how can we use that to promote different lessons in the classroom? And they were very interesting because we're getting ready to do some multimedia in our classroom, and so we're going to learn how to do photography, and almost all of my students have an iPhone, which is going to be very handy. So uh, taking the iPhone and learning the acronym SCORE and how to take pictures like the rule of thirds, that type of thing, and getting out and just kind of explore what we have in our school and try to make it meaningful and to tell a story about our class. If you have a huge camera you know, that you've got, by the time you go get it and get it set up, you're going to lose the actual moment that your kids are having. So you can pull this out of your pocket, snap the shot, you have the emotion right there.